Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we're going to check out Manor Lords. As a huge fan of games like Banished, Forest Village, Life is Feudal, and Farthest Frontier, I am super excited to check this one out. With a big thank you, of course, to the developers of Manor Lords for providing me with an early access key to the game. Manor Lords is a medieval strategy game featuring an in depth city building, large scale tactical battles, and complex economic and social simulations. Grow your lands as a medieval lord, watch the seasons pass, and spread your influence across the land as you bring prosperity to your people. Inspired by the art and architecture of late 14th century Franconia, Manor Lords prioritizes historical authenticity where possible, using it to inform gameplay mechanics and visuals alike to create a vibrant and believable world. Manor Lords will release into early access for PC on April 26 via Steam. GOG and the Microsoft Store and later on it will also be available on the Xbox including the Xbox Game Pass. So quickly before we jump into it, if you are interested in getting Manor Lords or maybe while you wait for Manor Lords to launch you want to try the good old but still fantastic Banished or games like Farthest Frontier, City Skylines, Planet Zoo, Planet Coaster, Jurassic World Evolution and many other games, definitely make sure to check out the sponsor of a channel Instant Gaming because via their website you you can get a really great discount and by buying via their website you will get a great discount and you will also be supporting the channel. You can find a link to their website in the description of this video and in the pinned message of the comment section so you can easily find it. Now without further talking let's jump right into Manor Lords. So we're going to start a new game here. I was already playing a little bit to try and see what the game was going on. You can create this this coat of arms and you can really go in depth here it, it's it's nuts actually you you can do some really crazy things here you can uh, set the number of instances you can uh, adjust the scale here you can adjust the tiling you can change the colors I mean, I've never ever seen a game that has been this much in depth. I think I can just get back this one, but maybe can I still change that color if you saved? I'm not really sure. Like this is still an early version build. So anything that might not work as properly, that is because of that. Uh, but yeah, this is a little a sword right over here. And we can also change the portrait. And obviously I'm going to call this one the lady. There are two females in here. Should uh, should be more, <laughs> if I may say so myself. Uh, but yeah, there are some, uh, some males here and there as well. Uh, so let's go and continue. And then we're going to rise to prosperity restoring the peace on the edge i don't really think that um like anything like the battles and stuff are in this version just yet so i'm gonna go for the rise to prosperity and go is growth and I, I don't think i'm going to change anything right over here i think we should just go and begin like this all right, here is our beautiful settlement. And I mean, oh, the first time that I saw this, the graphics are so freaking beautiful. It looks incredible, doesn't it? And then if you zoom out all the way right over here, you get to the map here and these are all the regions that you can conquer as well in the future so you can really expand your settlements and then and see them from far away right over here there is even like this cinematic mode which looks incredible just look at that it's so so gorgeous and we can go all the way down Ooh, so smooth as well So yeah, this is our uh, the, the first people living in our settlement, waiting for us to assign. So yes, okay, new message. Victory condition growth. Where others see trouble, you see potential. These lands shall become rich and prosperous under your skillful management. Reach the large town settlement level to achieve victory. So if we zoom out a little bit again... 
we can see what we have. So there are wild animals. There's a rich deposit right over here of wild animals. We have berries, also pretty nearby. I really love that. A clay deposit. We have an iron deposit and stone deposit. So we are really nicely centered right over here. There is a path going here and there is one going all the way here. So that is going to help us with like trading later on. There is a path going here. What do we have? A trade point on uh, this particular area and uh, so yeah I, I think this is already a perfect area to start with and if you look at the construction tab for example here for farming uh, we have the underground water so this is helpful for where you want to put down your your water pumps and then we have the emmer fertility we have the flax fertility that is not looking very good barley and ray fertility that is green right over here and green right over here also very often but i'm not really sure if it works like that as well in this game like the fertility underneath your your forest areas are also very good but i'm not entirely sure about this one uh, so it does look like if you want to go for farms then this particular area is probably the best for now and then build our settlements more over here like the, the houses and stuff yeah i think that might be a good idea but to leave this open a little bit for farms and such so i want to build a road i actually want to connect it to the main road as well so where was that main road again I don't see it. There's one here. There's not one in. Oh, there is one. Okay, here. We can connect to this one then. Okay, so we're gonna put this road. We're gonna smoothly follow the area a little bit right over here. Um, yes, go all of the way to the little settlement that we have right now. Something like this. Are we continue our road? No, I don't think so. Not for now. Oh, wait. Yes. Okay. I want to have this and build. Okay, I love how organic the, the path can be placed. So we have hunting right over here. Clay and berries the berries are still growing but for now i do feel like the berries are the best way to go for and later on expand here with the uh, the the hunting but i want to do that soon after we got more families to live here so we have an assigned family so you're not working with employees but with complete families that do one job and then you have zero assigned we have living spaces total population approval rating so as long as it's above 50 percent as far as i can tell there are more people starting to live in your village um you have the public order you have have coins right over here but we will not be earning them unless we will start trading and such we have livestock we have one ox which is right over here i'm gonna pause it for just a little bit soon but uh, this ox is going to help once uh, these uh, villagers need to move heavy stuff so for example logs to like an air uh, construction area for example so uh, that is definitely very useful so you can have oxes or oxen, horses, and mules, and uh, you can have sheep and lambs. Now, obviously, this is still an early access build, so we're now work working on 0.7.002. And this is also very important. The number of months before supplies run out. So every burgage plot, which are houses or house plots, uh, needs one food and one firewood or one fuel so fuel consumption is in the winter very uh important so it will be double during the winter and additionally some workplaces consume one fuel per month as well so right now we have four months of food and no 
fuel. So we definitely do need to pay that, pay attention to that, because else we are getting in trouble and people will die during winter. So we have exposed goods, uh, the generic storage. We now have some logs right over here, and we have food and firewood and some rocks here outside. So we need to pay attention to that and make sure that we get some storage for that. And what do we have? We have homelessness. These people wait for more burgage plots, causes loss of approval and possibility of freezing during the winter. And then here we have construction pieces like timber, planks, stone tools, wooden parts, roof tiles and blocks. Food, meat, vegetables, berries. We have 19 bread right now. You can have eggs, apples, and honey. Uh, fuel, 20 firewood or charcoal. We have crops, wheat, flax, barley, ray, dung, and fertilizer. Crafting materials like grain, flour, hides, leather, wool, yarn, linen, wax, malt, iron ore, iron slab, clay, and dyes. Commodities, cloaks, clothes, and candles, salt, ale, shoes, and herbs and military. I'm not entirely sure if military is already a thing during early access, but it will obviously be a thing later on in the game. So you can have sidearms, warble, small shields, spears, helmets, etc. Okay, so this is uh, me, and I think we can even, yes, we can visit it. I wish this was also the female though, because I picked a female, but hopefully that will be a thing later on. Let's just look at that. We can just visit and say hello to all the people living here. Uh, I don't know. I just I love it. It's, it's a tiny little detail, but it's just great. Anyways, okay. Pause the game because we obviously are in March right now. We, we need to prepare for winter where we need firewood and such. So I think for now, we're going to focus on food we need logs so i'm going to okay, let's see gathering logging camp that's the first thing we're gonna build because we need wood to build more things so we can probably just have a little industrial area maybe right over here and then have more houses on this area and then farming right over there I think that might be a good idea. So let's build that one right over here. So now we have unassigned people and these unassigned people will work on construction. So they will include guiding the ox to transport timber, as you can see right over here. I, I really love this. Just look at the animations even. Everything looks so freaking gorgeous. Fantastic. And now that uh, no one has a job just yet, they're all going to work here. So that's probably going super fast. Uh, so the next thing we're going to, going to do, we need to make sure that we don't have people that are homeless. We need to uh, assign some storage. But I also really want to make sure that we have enough food to for survive winter. So we're going to have, you have a hunting camp, forger hut. And the apiary will be for later. So forger hut. I think we're just going to put this one somewhere over here. I'm going to extend the path or the road a little bit here. Um, just to here maybe build. And then I'm going to add the forger hut. Here at the end, pretty close to the berries. There we go. So that will be built as soon as this one is built. You can obviously prioritize this as well if you want to. Medium priority of, or put it like on the maximum priority if you want to. But for now, I think it's totally fine. We can speed up time a little bit. This one is still being built. We have two out of two timber here. And as soon as this one is done, just, just look at them go. The animation of constructing it even looks incredible. So we're going to assign one family here. And like if we don't do anything, I think they're just going to chop down trees wherever. Now we do need to pay attention to this because obviously we don't want them to chop down trees 
too close to these animals. So I think I'm gonna go a little bit further to, to the right side, maybe just chop down a little bit right over here. And then later on, we're gonna start chopping down this. We actually should have built this one somewhere over here maybe, but it is what it is for now. I'm just gonna keep it as it is. We're gonna speed this up a little bit. So these guys are going to chop down some, some logs. We can see them doing it maybe. There we go. Oh, obviously I am speeding it up a little bit. Look at that tree go. Boom. Perfect. Okay, so that is going well. So that means that we can expand later on. Oh, we already have the forger hut. Perfect. So we have food, we have logs. So now I want to build some houses because the sooner we have some houses, the the faster we are able to look. This one is going down with four points now because not all our villages or how do they call it? I don't know, homeless people, okay. But it means that we are not able to expand. So people do not want to live here. So we're gonna build a burgage plot, aka a house plot. And I think we're just gonna follow the road right over here a little bit to two directions maybe. Uh, okay, so let's build not enough goods. You see, that's why we need timber. So as soon as we get some timber, we are able to build this. So can we already start working on two houses maybe? And just expand later on? Yes, we can. Boom, there we go. Okay, so perfect. So this is going to be built now. So we have two houses now, which is just perfect. That means that we still have three families that do not have a house. Uh, but we also have an issue here with our storage because it's, it's pouring rain sometimes. So that's not good for the supplies that we have. So let's just build a granary right now. And uh, let's build a storehouse right next to the logging camp. And the granary is also nice to have somewhere over here, at least. Um, should we just build it right next to it? I'm actually not sure. I think I want to build a little road going straight to here. And then we're going to build a granary somewhere over here, which is also going to help later on when we're going to build some farms on this area. So having it a little bit more nearby, I think is definitely going to help us. So how much timber? We have six timber right now. And I think this particular area is already pretty done. There were not that many trees. So I think I'm gonna move this to here. And that is hopefully going to speed up the amount of logs that we are getting. Uh, we actually also need to put this one right over here. So these people gathering are searching in the right spot. I'm not really sure if it's really important. I guess so when it's like further away. Just look at this building, how gorgeous it looks. Look at this a little shed here with all the berries. That's so cute. It looks so gorgeous. Okay, so that that guy, I think it was a guy, right? Yes. Just came here and brought another basket with berries. That's amazing. Okay, food 11 months, fuel 8 months. Okay, so we have fuel for eight months, but it's April right now. We definitely should not miss out on adding more fuel or building, adding, building, no. We need to get more fuel with the woodcutter lodge. So this is the logging camp. Uh, oh, wait, that's right. Okay, these people still live in tents. Nothing stored inside. Yeah, we definitely need some houses for these guys. We still have six timbers, so we we need to wait until we have some more timber so we are able to expand our, our village a little bit with some more houses. Okay, so we have some extra timber right now. We have nine timber and we have the storehouse is complete. 
I am going to wait until assigning someone to the storehouse just yet because I feel like we don't have enough uh, families living here just yet. But we also have the granary and I think that's definitely good to do because, oh, they're already bringing it in here. Oh, so do you not have, oh, running out of fuel, oh gosh. <laughs> but does that mean that we don't really need to assign anyone to it? Not entirely sure, actually. Uh, so exposed goods. That should go away now. Uh, not enough supplies, food, and fuel. That's the fuel. We definitely need to pay attention to that. But we also need houses. So I'm first going to build the houses and then going to pay attention to the fuel. So we're going to have a burgage plot. And we're going to have three more houses. There we go. Perfect. Do I want it a little bit rounder? Yes. Okay. Let's build. It's six logs. Let's do that. We have seven timber left. Do we want to build one more house? So an extra house for a potential new family. Oh, look. Okay. So you have that little house with a little plus sign. That means that an extra family is able to live here for less cost, I think it is. So let's just do that. Let's just make sure that we have enough space left. And okay. Auto save. And okay. We need a marketplace. Uh, provide space for the assigned families to set up their stalls and distribute their produce to the burgage plot. So... If we build that, so we can build one right over here, right? So like pretty close to the village. Do we already have a well? I don't think so. The well could be built. Oh, it could be built right over here in a little corner. Oh, I like that. Um, can we, can you rotate a little bit for me? How do I rotate this? Uh... Oh, look. Okay, I'm going to put the well right over here. And I want to build a little market space. So, uh, a healthy supply and demand ratio of goods is needed to fulfill residential requirements and keep the uh, approval high. Yes, okay. So, let's just build a little area here for a market. Uh, available market stalls, locations 27. Do we need that much? I don't think so. How many is this? 12. 13. Let's just... 12. Let's go for 12. How much does it cost? Does it cost nothing? Oh, I'm not really sure if that did cost us any logs or whatsoever. Okay, so we're building a little market area so they can sell their goods, their berries, and, and whatsoever in the future as well. So that's perfect. So let's see. We need fuel. Firewood, planks, firewood. That's what we need. And I think we might want to put this right here at the other side of the uh, log camp. This is going to go away, right? Yeah, I think so, because that is like a little storage spot. So let's put this one right over here. This is also going away, and this is the hitching post. So yeah, this, this is going to stay here for now. We can move it later on, of course. So I think we got pretty much everything covered. We still have two families unassigned, but we still need one, of course, to continue with the construction of houses and other buildings. And then we can assign one. I am starting to, oh look, we even have a little marketplace already. So what are you selling? Entry, nothing stored inside. Berries, oh, that's so nice. Okay, so this one is selling berries now, but you don't have to assign anyone here. So I do really like that. So these houses are being built then. Once we have the fire or the fuel firewood, then they can also sell that at the market as well, which is super close to the market and the houses. So that is also really nice. Storage house. 
I guess I guess these stones can stay outside, so I'm not too bothered just yet about that. And the granary is making sure that our food is not being ruined, ruined by any rain or whatsoever. So that is going well. I think we're just going to wait until these houses are being built and these homeless people all have a house to live in. And then hopefully this is going up because this is definitely not good. We need a minimum of 50% to be sure that we have more families that want to live here. So these houses are being built and uh, let's just wait for that. There we go. Settlement level increased because all the people now have a house to live in. And we have one house right over here that can house an extra family. I do really hope that this is not that little shit. <laughs> That's super sad. So we have people right now living here. They have water access. They have a, a church level requirement. So... We definitely need to focus on a wooden church very soon. A uh, few stall supply, enough few on the marketplace stalls, food stall supply, clothing stall. Oh yeah, we don't have any uh, clothes just yet. Uh, general requires refueling. Yes, fuel. We uh, resident uh, res residing families. There's no one living here just yet. Fuel. We're gonna pay attention to right now. Uh, where are you? That was right over here. So we're going to assign one family to make sure that we have enough fuel. We now have four months left. It's August, so that should be enough when it's, it's becoming winter and all the families are living there. Exposed goods. So yeah, that is the goods right over here. That's not the food because the food is being stored right over here at the granary. So all we see right now with this message is because of the stone supplies right over here. I'm not entirely sure if I just select someone to work here. Not enough supplies. Yes, food and fuel. Fuel is definitely a problem now. But if we select... Oh, I was clicking here, but I already have it open. If I just make sure that someone is working here and it's going to move stone supplies to here... And then unassign it again. I'm not really sure if that is going to work, but you are you are faster. Okay, now that message is gone. So what else is it going to bring? I'm not entirely sure. So not enough supplies. Yes, that one will keep doing it until we do have some more fuel right over here. So hopefully our approval rating will be going up very soon because the reason 30 days was none. But it took quite a long time before the approval rating or before these people had a house. Okay, so we have enough berries. It's a rich deposit. So that is just great for a food supply. We have another market stand right over here. So free locations, nothing stored, fuel, food variety clothing so you're oh yeah look at that you can even see the firewood right over here okay perfect all these houses will be able to get all this stuff very very nearby actually so we have enough timber to just build some more houses here let's just do that let's go and build a burgage plot so we, shall we just hmm how, how big do these houses need to be? Okay, that's one house with one extra family. Okay, I want to have it a little bit further out. Yeah, so let's do it like that. And it costs only two. And let's do the same right over here. Oh, wait a second. No, I want to have the front here. How many houses can we build? Okay, that's also one with an extra house. Or, you know what? Okay, uh, let's get out of here. Demolish this one. And build a road around the market first. Um, like that. And then go here. I want to have a nice bend or a sharp bend. I don't want you to connect there. Yes. Okay. Something like that. 
and then build some houses around it. I think that looks better. So gonna build. Uh, let's see. Okay, that one could go a little bit bigger, maybe. So they can have like this this upgrade area. That's a little bit too far, maybe. Hmm. It's a little bent here, so the space is a little bit harder. Okay, two. And let's see. Build another one right over here. Make it big enough. Let's just go for this. Okay, and two. So we're going to build some extra houses here. I'm not sure if I... No, I think the market should be fine with the size we we don't have any people working here now so i'm starting to wonder if we want to make sure because this one yeah okay unassigned this one you are putting the firewood in here as well but we, i don't really think that we need that right now because the firewood is also being sold right over here and it's not like we have too much as long as it will not be destroyed by any rain i don't know do you guys have storage you have storage so yeah i think we are good with unselecting that family for now right over here and hopefully once this one go goes up the houses that we are building will go up as well so if we just click here they need a church um so I think that is the first thing we should focus on. And uh, what do we need for church? We need... Uh, fulfills one level of faith requirement for the Burgage plots. Uh, provides hallowed ground for burial of the dead villagers. Oh, that's actually also interesting. Workers become grave diggers. So a coarse pit. Not all deserve to be buried on a consecrated ground. Use this building to get rid of any raiders corpses quickly. Workers become grave diggers. Interesting. So uh oh, a tavern. Okay, it needs ill to function. Wooden church. We need 20 planks. We do not have any planks right now. So how do we create planks? We can make plans with a saw pit. A saw pit should go somewhere over here. We can extend this road a little bit. Uh, where shall we go? Not really sure if there is any need to go that way per se. So I'm just going to extend this road a little bit like this somewhere over here. And build. And then a saw pit somewhere over here do we still have enough space left for chopping down logs there are a lot of logs laying down here so i'm gonna go right over here just in case they are running out of logs we have logs right over here in the logging camp a log storage as well so we should be good we have one family working here so you will be able to build some planks right over here Although I'm not entirely sure. 188. Oh gosh, we definitely need fuel. You are, yeah, you are making fuel. Chopping firewood. So that should go up. Like food is crazy high. 39 months. That's like three years. Even more than three years. So that's crazy. But... I'm not too worried. I think this family owns a market stall. If you unassign them, the market will have to be taken over by someone else. Oh, that's interesting. But I'm not going to unassign you because you are very important for us. It's November. We need more fuel. Hi. Who, who is working here? Who are you? Heinz. Heinz, we need more fuel. You seem to have quite a lot of fuel in here. But yeah, it still says we don't have enough. Uh, generic storage is full. That's not this one. Oh. Okay, saw pit. Lock storage, yeah. Okay, 
going to assign one. Yes, we don't have anything to build anyway. So I'm, I am able to assign one to work here at the saw pit. But we need to make sure that we have a reserve. We have 42 timber right now. I'm going to put this at, say, 15. Yeah, I want to make sure that we keep 15. And, okay, this is going up now. So fuel for four months. That should be just enough to survive winter at this point. And I don't think we have that many villagers just yet or, or settlers or whatever. So we are not going to use all of it. What's that? Oh, that's just a rock. A rock on the road. Just look at this, you guys. Doesn't this look amazing? The details on the buildings as well. Also, like, the combination here with the wood and stuff. It's beautiful. Even a little outhouse, I think you call it. All the little details, the burrows. Oh, the burrows, the barrels. <laughs> I played too much Planet Zoo. <laughs> and, like, the, the little ladder here. Even the fences look amazing. I do wonder, like, how well is this game doing and uh, performance-wise once you have tons of more of these buildings and houses and stuff when it comes down to your FPS? Time will tell, I guess. Small village. Press to open the development. Oh, yeah, that's right. You have, like, this these development points. You have policies, hunting grounds... Strikes fasting, citizens skip every fifth meal, reduces food consumption. Uh, locked in early access, locked in early access, so you can only do this. And uh, the wild animals on rich deposits breed, oh, breed twice as fast at the cost of 50% reduced yields from crops. So we have a development trees, uh, foreign suppliers. Firewood card, a permanent market stall which provides a passive income of firewood as long as the region has enough region wealth. Region does not pay the transport fee, must be placed on the market. Uh, trade logistics, establishing a new trade route always costs a maximum of 25 regional wealth. Sheep breeding, ore card, apple ore card, or cure. I, I never know how to say that. I'm sorry if I ruined that. Until the trees are fully grown, which takes around three years. Oh my goodness. Uh, at a plowing station. Enables em employing oxen at the farmhouse for significantly faster plowing of large fields, as well as bringing crops back to storage more efficiently. Trapping enables hunters to skillfully lay traps on the, in the forest, which gives a passive income of meat. I like that, actually. Forest management, berry deposits, doubles the capacity, and beekeeping. Workers collect honey. Every region can sustain up to two apiaries by default. Uh, placing more will not increase yield. But how many do we have? Okay, so this is okay. So this is the area of, of, of so, so I know I don't know how to say that. We are a small village, burgage plots level two or higher. So we probably need to upgrade. Production is empty. I think we need to upgrade some houses, maybe, to make the approval approval rating more interesting. Should we just try that? Upgrade to level two. Requirements not met. Uh, level two burgage plot generate one. Oh, that's how we earn some 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 coins as well. Uh, regional wealth per family unlocks new extensions, including artisan workshops. Residential requirements will increase. It might be interesting, but we don't have we don't have requirements not met. What are the requirements? Oh, of course, that is probably the church. Do we already have planks? Oh, we have 20 planks. Stop. Stop, you. Okay, I'm going to unassign you. You, yes, you were producing planks. And now I'm going to build a church. Uh, I want to build a church. Where is the church? Here is the church. Yes. Oh, the church is pretty big. Shall we put the church right here at the market? I have the feeling that I want to make this a little bit bigger. So if I just extend this road, and then maybe we can have another market right 
here as well. Why is that not working? Okay, that's maybe a little bit too tight. Okay, put it down like that. It's not like a super straight road, but that's all right. And build the church a little bit further out here. Oh, 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 that's what I was like, why, why is it? Why am I freezing? But that's the autosave. Uh, boom, put it down here. And that family is going to build the church. And then we are able to upgrade. I think that's a great idea. And surely the approval rating will go up as well as soon as this church is, is, is finished, right? So the church is done now. And it actually took a long time. Winter even passed by now. I, I don't even know. Wait, can I get out of this view? There we go. It's March right now. So we we have a church and it took them a few months to build, which is obviously normal that it took them quite so such a long time. Uh, so these guys can now be upgraded, right? The approval rating did not go up just yet. Do we really need to assign anyone? Like, didn't it say that it's only useful to have... People working here for when people die. I'm not entirely sure about that. Uh, but the requirements are met. So that is good. And now I do feel like we can hopefully... Requirements not met. Uh, Burgage plot. Generate one. Unlocks new extension. Requirements. Uh, amenities. Market supply. Are these all the requirements? Enough fuel in the market? At least one type of food supply on the market. Clothing stalls. So for some reason, not all the requirements are met just yet. The church was not the only thing. Generic storage is full. So that is the saw pit. But I'm not really sure if we need any planks for now okay so let's just see burgage plot we have a well we have a market space the tavern needs ale so i think we need to make sure that we are going to build a farm is there anything else sheep farm windmill maybe we should go and do something for trading so we can actually buy but we don't have that many coins Hmm. Oh, workers convert berries into dyes. Well, why do we need dyes? Not entirely sure. Tannery makes leather. Clay, smithy, bloomery. You know, I don't think that that is very important just now. Uh, Apier, we, we don't, we do have one point. Okay. So, I just unlocked beekeeping. Why do we need to build it, though? Construction cost is two planks. Well, we can do that. We, we can build some, so get some more planks. And then we are able to build an apiary, which is good. Which is nice, because then we, that means that we can sell more food on the market, right? So, workers collect honey. Every region can sustain up to two apiaries by default. Placing more will not increase the yield. Okay, so let's just focus on that. So, if we get some more planks, how is our fuel? Okay, nine months of fuel, food. Yeah, we have plenty of food, so that's definitely not the case. Church level uh, gives us a plus one at least. Population level one families, level two, level three... We have enough houses, so that's definitely not an issue here. Okay, so let's see. Let's make sure that we get some planks here so we can build that apiary. So that was quite fast. She already made five planks here, which is enough to build that apiary, which was right over here. So, oh no, that's an oven. That's not what I wanted. There we go. The apiary. Um... The apiary should go a little bit more further out here, I think. Closer to the farms, maybe? You know what? I feel like I maybe want to extend a road all the way to here.
This is the Fertile Land, right? Let's just double check. Emmer. Yes. Okay, so this is the Fertile Land. Uh, we should go to here then. So, build a road all the way to here. And then we're going to put the apiary. I don't think the apiary needs fertile land itself. Go, so, going to build that one. And then hopefully it's enough to get a better approval rating because I'm not sure you guys I'm not sure but we need more people to live here look at this view by the way so gorgeous really love that church it's so beautiful maybe I should not take too much yes it's only two planks and we have one family how about that family is going to work here and is is going to gather some honey for us. And that is then hopefully going to improve the rating here. Oh, now we have enough food. Well, f what? Food stall supply. At least two types of food. Fuel. Enough fuel on the market stalls. We have 10 months, so why is that not good enough? Clothing. Okay, weaver shop. Hides to produce leather. Ah, <gasps> if we build a hunter, then maybe that is going to help us. Okay, so we have an apiary. Generic storage. Pantry. <gasps> look, 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 yes! Yes, okay, oh my goodness, yes, we're doing something. Church level is plus seven. That's amazing. So why is that all of a sudden plus seven? Is that because of seven families that enjoy it or like it i'm not sure but this means that we are finally able to get in more people to live here so that means that i oh we can finally expand a little bit so what do we want to focus on if we have leather then we can provide them with clothes right Okay, so then we need the hunting camp because we have a lot of deer. Oh, look at that big sign here. It's even a deer sign. So if we just make a little crossway here. Look at how those birds fly. Okay, I'm going to build a hunting camp right over here. So that is pretty close here to all the deer and as soon as we got some extra families we we're able to assign them i'm so happy oh my gosh i was a little bit worried like how are we going to get the approval rating up but we did it i'm not entirely sure that i, I don't think the beehives really helped it was definitely the church that became a plus seven at some point which is good which is great. I really am enjoying this game so far. I really do hope you guys do too. We're definitely going to do a little series on the channel here and uh, can only hope that the developers will... I, I don't know like how far we can get in the game with this, this early access build and then like the build. I don't know if it's going to be different from the build that is going to launch on the April the 26th. So that is going to be exciting to see. But I do hope that we can have lots of fun already with the early access version. Because this game looks so beautiful and so promising already. So I'm very excited to uh, dive into this game a little bit more. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed it. And subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. Yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.